Is it graffiti or is it art? You may have seen these traffic utility boxes around San Marco and Riverside painted with the designs of the late Keith Herring. Well, now the Jacksonville man who investigators say is behind the artwork is facing criminal charges. Police have arrested Kevin Southworth. He's been dubbed Keith Herring's ghost. Channel 4's Marcus White joins us live from Riverside. And Marcus, what are police telling you about the arrest? Investigators say the man behind this so-called graffiti here actually was paying tribute to a dead artist. Right now, we're in Riverside at the corner of Peninsula and Park, and right now city officials are working on cleaning up this graffiti, but there's no word on exactly how long that'll take. Between August and December, 11 different traffic control utility boxes owned and maintained by the city of Jacksonville were hit with graffiti. Investigators arrested Kevin Chip Southworth. They say that he was paying tribute to a dead artist named Keith Herring. I think it enhances the way that the neighborhood looks. I think that it, it makes it interesting. It makes it unique. The graffiti has popped up in San Marco and in Riverside. I think, I mean, living in this neighborhood, we expect to see sort of art popping up all over the place, and it, it brings me joy when I, when I see the colorful art. Investigators say Southwark took pictures of the graffiti and uploaded them to Facebook accounts. The city estimates it'll cost about $1,100 to remove all the graffiti. Some people say they're not surprised to hear about the arrest. And that happens all the time with street artists and things like that. It's kind of, I think, I feel like they take that risk whenever they, they're doing it. They know the risks involved in doing it. Investigators say a search warrant was obtained and several pieces of evidence were collected, including Southworth's cell phone, which they say had several pictures of the graffiti. They also recovered pieces of artwork he's accused of using to create graffiti. A statement from Southworth's attorney, John Phillips, says his arrest in Jacksonville Sheriff's Office further social media campaign, including trying the case in social media and posting his mugshot is irresponsible, if not unjust. Another attorney not affiliated with the case has an office just feet away from some of the graffiti and says she doesn't like graffiti being so close to her place of business. I, I feel that's the right step to do, the right thing to do, because that's going to prevent other people to feel that they have the right to go around our city and just write and, and do whatever they want. I understand that it's vandalism, but... It's pretty vandalism. Investigators say that Southworth admitted to putting up the graffiti. They say that he also admitted to setting up two Facebook accounts, one called Keith Herring X 2013, the other one called Keith Herring's Ghost. Right now, we do understand that Southworth has bonded out of jail. He faces up to five years in prison and up to a $5,000 fine. Reporting live, Marcus White, Channel 4, The Local Station.